Good morning, folks. Today we're talking geophysical events above and below the ground, the deeper dives into animal magnetic sense, the global electric circuit, and a super flare on a sun-like star. But we've also got a bit of space weather to discuss, so we're starting with the last 24 hours on the sun. The story here isn't the few M-class flares we've had over the last day, but the potential for something bigger. You may have noticed the coronal motions on the left side. Those are a combination of the small flares we did have, but more so the sunspot development. It's the latter that has our attention this morning. Saw rapid morphing events and a growth trend in these active regions. They are the top eruptive watch on the sun right now as the other sunspots depart to the far side. Expect more flares this week. Folks, yesterday we shared the magnitude 7 earthquake that struck the Kamchatka Peninsula of Russia. Apparently in the hours that followed, a large volcanic event occurred nearby. Likely related to the rumble as magma may have broken through a region or was liberated by the crustal cracking of the quake. Hurricane Ernesto is still a high watch event. It's causing riptides at the U.S. coastline, is nearing eastern Canada, and is still expected to head across the sea to Europe this week. Eyes on it. First up in the articles today, we're staying in the water where a new book on electric field sense of sharks and rays has several noteworthy chapters. This electric sense of the marine creatures is influenced by the planetary dynamo, the electric and magnetic fields, as well as the sun and the ongoing magnetic pole shift. Good reminder that it's every animal up and down the food chain about to be affected. Excellent review up next on the global electric circuit. A simple but important set of facts is how dramatically the atmospheric electricity impacts clouds, rain, temperature, wind, and lightning, and how much that electric circuit is impacted by solar activity. Last but not least, another sun-like star shows that the state of science on the sun's super flares is likely correct. They found a solar analog pulling an X1700 flare, matching and exceeding the hypothesized solar maximum potential of X1000 about every 6,000 years. It's been a rare instance of a scientific subfield where the theory came first and then the observations kept proving it correct. Don't forget, we're opening soon at Observer Ranch. Check out ObserverRanch.com for details as we are just a week away from opening up the reservation system. Can't wait to see many of you in person. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.